let's uh, let's jump in. Uh, uh, some uh, quite a bit of AI news. This every day seems to be AI news, but a, a couple of interesting items uh, coming out on AI that uh, I thought I would uh, I would share with you guys. Um, so there is a there's a study that came that was done by uh, an an analyst uh, firm called Forrester that does. Uh, they do a lot of employment data, a lot of employment consulting, uh, contracts, things like that. So they're employer, employee uh, experts and employment. And um, so they, they did some projections in terms of uh, what are jobs, how does AI affect uh, jobs by 2030? So that is in the next seven years. And uh, by their estimates, uh, 2.4 jobs, 2.4 million jobs in America will be uh, replaced by AI. That is, uh, will be replaced by artificial intelligence, by software uh, over the next seven years. That is a significant lower number than a lot of the panic and hysteria that we were hearing uh, when uh, ChatGPT first came out and there was generally a lot of panic here. Of course, it's only seven years into the future. That could change dramatically uh, as we move further into the future. Uh, and... Um, Also, uh, let's see, the, um, uh, the kind of jobs are interesting. So uh, it's primarily white-collar jobs, so, and, and uh, the ones that are most at risk are things like technical writers, social science research assistants, uh, uh, proofreaders, copywriters, and, and generally administrative, pos administrative assistant positions. Those are the ones that are most at risk. Um, and they've got a whole list here of, uh, you know, legal, uh, the legal profession is most at risk, people working in the legal profession, doing research in the legal profession uh, at, at, at most risk. And then it's kind of life sciences, life, physical, and social sciences, uh, office and administrative, uh, and, uh, and, and so on. But it is uh, white collar, uh, much more uh, substantive, then um, loss of jobs is the number of jobs that are going to be affected. That is where uh, what will happen is you'll get a, um, a AI to assist. So your job will be assisted by AI. Uh, that is the more um, uh, that was the, that is the more uh, a substantial. Um, uh, number, it, it, it is projected that, you know, most research jobs, most white collar jobs over the next 10 years are going to have a component that involves interacting with AI. So AI is going to, is going to dominate kind of the employment landscape, particularly the, the, uh, again, the, the, uh, white collar, if you will, employment landscape, uh, of, uh, of, uh, the next uh, 10 years. Interesting, of course, uh, people are very worried about AI. There's a lot of panic. There's a lot of hysteria. There's a lot of doomsday sayers. Uh, and of course, you, we all know, we talked about this in a previous show, that the heads of all the AI companies have gone to Washington and kind of almost groveled and begged that Washington uh, uh, regulate them and, and come up with regulations to save humanity from the plague that is AI, uh, the latest dooms, biggest doomsday predictions, projections uh, are now AI related. Uh, I think that's replaced climate change as the number one uh, uh, fear that people have is, is yeah, we're all gonna die because the machines are gonna turn against us. Anyway, not to worry, you, you really shouldn't worry because Congress is on top of this. Uh, we now have a bipartisan a group of U.S. senators that meet weekly uh, to uh, talk and discuss issues related to AI and to consider uh, uh, regulations uh, around AI to limit uh, their damage. You, this group is led by um, uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Uh, it, it includes, uh, who is from New York, of course, includes Todd Young, a Republican from Indiana, Mike Rounds, a Republican from, Sandy, uh, from South Dakota, and Martin Heinrich, a Democrat from New Mexico. Uh, all of him, I, I am assured and, and, and have told without question, have PhDs in computer science 
and are proficient in the use and writing of algorithms uh, uh, for AI. I mean, who are these losers to, to, to decide on the fate of one of the most revolutionary technologies in, in human existence? What do they know about AI? What does Chuck Schumer really know about computers? Does he know where the power button is, maybe? Uh, I mean, really, these guys have no clue. They don't have a technical background. They, they, they have no idea what is involved. And what, is, what are the risks? What are, they, what are they truly afraid of? Well, in the article, and describing this, it tells us what, what they're worried about. They're racing, racing, because they're really worried, and, and it's a race. They're racing to formulate rules that protect Americans. Oh, God help us. Uh, they protect Americans from AI's worst threats. What are AI's worst threats? Such as biological weapons. I guess AI will produce biological weapons and place them in the hands of people who we cannot trust and who might inflict on in all of us. <clears throat> and mass unemployment. So uh, the biggest threats, according to this, you know, very prestigious group of senators who I'm sure know exactly what they're talking about and know, really understand this issue well, is biological weapons and mass unemployment. Now, I get biological weapons, right? I, I mean, what uh, ChatGPT has the potential of doing is placing in the hands of Pretty much anybody, uh, the, the knowledge and ability, maybe, to produce biological weapons, maybe the bad actors can use ChatGPT to produce chemical or biological weapons or other weapons uh, th th that have the potential to be truly disastrous. But the reality is that, uh, you know, th this is something that... Uh, that to some extent can be addressed through regulations, but the knowledge is out there. The knowledge is out there. With chat GPT or without chat GPT, the knowledge is out there. And then equal to biological weapons is mass unemployment. So <clears throat> not only are these four senators likely completely and thoroughly ignorant of uh, AI, what it means, how it works, what it does, but they're equally or even more ignorant, actually, given the history, I would say even more ignorant, if that is possible, the more ignorant of economics. ChatGPT AI will not create mass unemployment. And if this is what the senators are worried about, please, you know, what do you do? What do you do? This is where... But, uh, uh, you know, partisanship would be really, really good. Wouldn't it be great if they, if they fought and they don't get along and Republicans and Democrats hate each other so much that they can't work together to formulate a strategy to regulate AI and to prevent mass unemployment? I've always told you when Republicans and Democrats get together and they agree on stuff, that's when you have to run for the hills. Um, Uh, but don't worry, because the article goes on to say, in interviews with senators, former staffers, and close observers, optimism, optimism is running high that the rare but mighty alliance between Democrats and Republicans can pull off the extraordinary complex tasks of confronting AI. With Schumer at the helm, I mean, what we need here is, uh, is heroic music of the charge of the cavalry or something. Uh, with Schumer at the helm so far, They've organized three briefings over the summer to educate senators on the technology and are preparing nine so-called insight forums to continue that work for the fall. Major tech and industrial leaders, including Meta Platforms, Mark Zuckerberg, Tesla's Inc.'s Elon Musk and Bill Gates are slated to attend the first gathering on Wednesday. And we know that the senators, we all ears, they'll be super dedicated to learning from these giants of technology who they are suing in court and trying to break up and trying to pass laws to decapitate. What do you even do with this? So, yes, 
our senators are here to rescue us from the dangers of AI. If there was a God, God help us. Since there isn't one, I, I, I don't think anything is going to help us.